off and get better. All I ever wanted was get me. Yo, what's up with y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Urban Review. I appreciate y'all tapping in with the series, man. Now, last episode, I said I wasn't going to crash, but ended up having the error moment. This video is straightforward, all facts, and my review. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share the video. In this scene, we're thrown back to the crab infested beach. To make everything simple, I'm going to call the crab feeders me and crabs. These crabs burnt house Valerian's banner down. Now, you know the sea snake is not going to take this lightly. In last episode, we saw how you approached the king and the council about his missing fleet. At the end of episode two, we see Damon Targaryen and the Sea Snake having a conversation. That's a nice duo right there. Let's see what's going on. These crabs are looting everything they can find, just like them folks over the pandemic. We get another torture scene of the crab feet and nailing somebody's hands. The captain man curses him and said, House Valerian will have your head. The crab feeder doesn't reply and then places crabs on his body. Mr. Krabs thought he was going to get a nice exit scene and then my dog Damon Targaryen pops in on the dragon. My dog torched the whole beach up. There was no surviving this. Then Damon descends and smashes the captain man with the dragon. Come on, Damon. You're supposed to be saving everybody captive. The crabs start to retreat back to their caves and my dog took that dragon and blazed their whole camp. Crab feeder survives and he's standing on the inside of the cave. My dog Damon is on go mode. He's screaming out, where are you? All of a sudden, you see archers on the mountain shooting at Damon with flaming arrows. Now, there's no way you ain't see them archers, bro, before you flew in on that low camp, unless they were hiding. Hundreds of arrows were shot in the air, and Damon gets hit in his chest. The dragon screams the same time as Damon. We'll do a Targaryen dragon bond video in the future. Fighting fire with fire, Damon and the dragon barely get out. Scene cuts, and we see pigs on the feast table. We hear somebody say to the king, he has your hair. Now, I know they ain't talking about a baby, bro. Camera zooms out and it's a silver-haired child there. Even worse, Allison is pregnant, standing there admiring everybody in the room. By now, y'all should know I feel some type of way about Allison, bro. We get a side conversation between Odo Hightower and the mystery man. The mystery man is highly proud that the king finally has a son. Odo Hightower explains to the man he's not sure if the king knows who's next up. The man looks at him in his eyes and said, well, you make sure he knows. Who is this man? I need to do some research. I thought the hand was the king's puppeteer. Apparently, he's in the same situation. They end the conversation and prepare for the hunt dedicated to the king's newborn. We get a camera shift and we're back on the king's side of the room. He receives a message about the crab feeder raiding their territory. As always, King Viserys puts everything on the back burner. He then hears about the sea snakes and Damon's hidden missions. This is for sure a soft king. He notices Rhaenyra's not in the room and then cares only about that. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten his throne snatched up. We get a scene cut of Renner outside minding her business. It seemed like this guy's been playing the same song all day. All of a sudden, he stops what he's doing and stands up and approaches Allison. Renner looked at him crazy and said, did I say stop playing? <laughs> this straight up shows Allison. She doesn't care she's the new queen. And on top of that, she lost respect for her because she went behind her back and got with her dad. Then these two go back and forth, flaunting their titles, telling the performer if he can stay or leave. Now, Allison, don't be throwing that in nobody's face. You just got up there. Renner shakes his error moment off and walks away. You already know Allison's chest was burning. Scene cuts and the king's family's in the royal carriage on the way to the hunt. Rhaenyra is just staring into the abyss. In this part of the season, she has so much anger built up. She can barely look at the king, the newborn, and Allison. The royal carriage arrives and the people greet them with glad. Scene cuts and we see Rhaenyra walking into this big tent. Not even 15 seconds, she got an old nigga lusting after her. Rhaenyra walks around trying to find her crowd. They got a tent with ladies and Allison sitting inside. Renera drags herself to the entrance and tries to make conversation. Instantly regretting it, she leaves the crowd. All right now, Renera, I need you to kind of lighten up a little bit. See, this is a nice little celebration. There's a lot of food there. Go outside, enjoy the air, and then come back inside, man. And that's exactly what she did. She got on a white horse and stormed off. But make sure you come back. See, I ain't trying to lose you like I did Allison, though. Then one of the knights got on his horse and raced on after her. But I'm finna wrap this part one in the video up, man. I appreciate y'all sliding in. And shout out to the ones that watched to the end of the video, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share the video. Stay blessed.